Canadian soldiers are going back to Kandahar on a dual mission to rebuild war-torn rural Afghanistan and to fight insurgents. Canada is going to be really pushing its weight over in Afghanistan. The first deployment involves 250 soldiers, mostly from Edmonton, who will form a Provincial Reconstruction Team, or PRT, a mix of soldiers, police and aid agencies. The Provincial Reconstruction Team will be conducting uh, security tasks, uh, patrols of the Kandahar area to establish a secure environment so the uh, other agencies, including CETA, Foreign Affairs and the RCMP can assist the Afghans. Canadian soldiers first went to Kandahar in 2002. It was there on a training mission four soldiers were killed by an American bomb. Since then, Canada has maintained a force of about a thousand soldiers in Kabul. But the capital is now secure. The second mission in Kandahar begins in the new year. The soldiers will patrol the countryside and fight extremists. It is dangerous. We have to be prepared. Canadians have to be prepared that we could have casualties on this mission. Otherwise, we wouldn't be sending the Canadian forces in there to deal with this. Thursday, Canada's top soldier, Chief of Defence Staff General Rick Hillier, used strong language warning Canadian troops will be at risk. He said the heavily armed infantry would be joined by Special Forces soldiers from JTF-2 to fight what he called detestable murderers and scumbags. The Canadian ambassador agrees Canadian troops will play a combat role. Let's be clear, uh, when there's an insurgency, uh, it has to be met with, uh, by qualified military assets that are prepared to engage in combat. Canadians will be part of that. Of course it's going to be an extremely challenging mission. Mark Sedra is an expert on security in Afghanistan. He says while Canada's combat deployment is important, it's the work of the PRTs, call it nation building, that matters most. Preventing the, f the, s the failure of the Afghan state one more time and preventing Afghanistan from once more degenerating into a terrorist state can in fact will really advance Canadian security substantially. The first group of soldiers from Edmonton will leave for Kandahar Tuesday. The second much larger group from Petawawa, Ontario will head to Kabul by the end of the month. Both missions are part of what the government calls Canada's commitment to Afghanistan. James Cudmore, CBC News, Ottawa.